Hello everyone, this is Running an Empty Food Review. These are little triangles. I guess you'd call it pizza. That's what we're reviewing. I guess they are like a little triangle, right? Little slices. It's pizza. 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 Pizza, right? With this silent T. I guess it actually was a pronounced T in pizza, right? There's the tea and pizza. It's just I'm, I was trying out some stupid one-liner to open up this show with, and uh, I think we could all agree I felt miserably on it. So uh, I don't know. I think I'm being too self-conscious, but if you're wondering like what's up with the camera angle, you, there might be like an extra three feet above my head, you know, showing on the camera here. I don't know. Maybe maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, but I think I'm filming an extra bit of the ceiling and the painting behind me and what have you than normal. That's because I tried something and failed miserably with this review. What did we try? Got this little flip camera here, right? Flip minnow HD. Okay. Little fish. It's the old camera I used back in 2011, some of 2012. Was trying to fix it up. Could record with it. I'm recording the camera filming me right now. I'm recording you. But, um, there's a pizza. There I am. The problem with this camera is I was going to film the review of this HD camera, right? Get it going back in HD. And uh, it shuts off by itself. I tried to film this two times and the camera just shuts off by itself. In the middle of filming. Full battery and everything. Just has a mind of its own. So, uh, keep it. We can stand it up. Want to just say forget it? How about we stand it on its head there? See, it just shut off. It was filming, the red light's off, shut off. So that's the problem, you can't film with it. We tried to film in HD and uh, guess what? Old technology always prevails. Well, most of the time. Most of the time. But it prevailed, so we're using the tried and true good old camera. Anyway, what? this isn't a camera review, I think. Maybe it is. Uh, what, what pizza are we reviewing today? Today's review is for DiGiorno's. Wow, DiGiorno again, I'm so excited. Yeah. DiGiorno, Italian style favorites. Uh, on a rising crust pizza with a touch of olive oil and herbs. Not herbs, herbs, right? And remember, folks, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Meatball marinara. First, you couldn't even tell what these things were on the cover. I thought it was like sausage or something. Did I say, no, it's meatball marinara. Italian style meatballs with mozzarella cheese and uh, over a marinara sauce, right? Preservative free crust. Once again, there's a good look at your beautiful pizza sitting here. Two, two slices in all their glory, right? Every pizza slice is sitting there in its glory. Oh, well, a couple of words about this. And DiGiorno, Italian style favorites. Our Italian style favorites begin with a rising crust with a touch of olive oil and herbs and covered with a zesty marinara sauce. And you finish it off by adding toppings inspired by your favorite Italian dishes. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Uh, begging instructions. Remember, preheat to 400. Remove the pizza from box. Freshness wrapped in cardboard. I mean, you can leave the cardboard there if you like the taste, but I'm not a big fan of it. Place pizza directly on the center oven rack and bake for 20 to 23 minutes. We baked it for 22 minutes. Anything else? Oh, this is very important. It says good to know, so we clearly have to talk about this. Our pizzas are made with only the very best. California fine ripened tomatoes? Forget it. Forget it. They said Italian style and they're using California tomatoes? We can't stand for any of this. We can't. Well, that was a little bit of a, a pathetic toss, don't you say? It hit the chair. Is it still on the chair? It is. What do you think? Should we go and get it again? Do an actual toss? Get some... Get some air? What do you think? 5 a.m., why not? Well, we got a little vent in here. Let's get some actual air. There we go. That was a solid little throw. All right, good to get it all out before we do the review. Like, throwing a box really does anything. So, it's got... It's loaded with uh, meatballs and cheese and... Oh my gosh, it's overflowing with this marinara sauce. And I'm, I, I really can't say how uh, how I feel about this. I can't say. 
I can't say I'm a big fan of the meatballs either, but as a reviewer, it's my obligation to try everything. If I don't like it, I don't like it. All I can say is that I hope this marinara sauce is uh, similar to, uh, you know, Pizza Hut's with like a, a hint of sweetness, but I doubt it. Probably have a whole wasted pizza sitting there now, but let's eat. Is there really a difference between marinara sauce and tomato sauce? Good question. Get back in there. Got a little marinara sauce in my thumb, so we wiped it on the pizza. Not like anything exists, like a napkin or anything. I don't know what those are. Hmm. Oh, it's a little better than I expected. Maybe it's because, wait for it. Wait for it. Maybe it's because it's not delivery. It's the short. <laughs> this is the first time that stupid thing ever got me to crack up. Mm. That was so pathetic. <laughs> Well, I guess this isn't comedy hour. Comedy hour. Comedy hour. So, I um, guess this is a review, right? So, let's eat the crust and then we'll talk about the pizza. Quit clowning around. Five AM chime. Bell tolls. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, how's the pizza taste? They said it's a rising crust pizza, so it is a bit doughy, mind you. Now, I was worried that the marinara sauce. All right, they specifically said no, no, it doesn't got the tomato sauce. It's got marinara sauce. But, like, there's a difference, really. You know, it's the the same thing. I know there's someone who just calls it red sauce and. <laughs> Lumps them all together, but uh, there are some differences in marinara sauce and tomato sauce. Uh, the pizza's a bit dull, you know. Just got to accept it. Now, what really strikes out to me, the cheese. I mean, it's it's there. You could really actually taste the herbs on the cheese. It's like some sort of Italian seasoning, I guess. Uh, really, the cheese itself doesn't strike out. It never does, really. But. What really strikes out is the marinara sauce. I was worried it would be more of this, I don't know, like cheap tasting, you know, almost a little more in the, uh, not sour or bitter, but just a little, I guess a little more in the, it wouldn't be sweet, that's what I'm trying to, to get at. I feel if I said sour, it really wouldn't taste sour, right? But it wouldn't be that sweet, it would be more on the bland side. Well, I thought, as I took the first few bites, well, I'll be, right? It was a bit sweet, the marinara sauce. And that took me pleasantly by surprise. That's why I had no problem. You know, they really loaded on the sauce, too. I mean, they put a lot on this pizza, more than average. But I had no no problems about it, no qualms about it. That's because the sauce was sweeter. That's because it was good. It tasted adequate. Likewise, the meatballs, right? That's the second most important part. First the sauce, then the toppings. 
Well, I guess it could be in any order you want it to be, but that, that's my personal order. The meatballs. And I'm not a big fan of the meatballs. I almost never get them on pizzas. You know me by now, right? You know me. Maybe you don't. But most of the time, my go-to pizza topping is the pepperoni, of course. Then bacon. Then it just fluctuates and goes wherever. But meatballs usually isn't high on the list. But, once again, I was pleasantly surprised. They, uh... They were alright. I guess they could have had a little more flavor to them, but... I guess... Be lacking on the flavor is better than a, a foul one, right? I guess lacking on the flavor is better than a strong, foul flavor. So, overall, a pleasant surprise with this pizza. It is clear to me that the sauce, the marinara sauce, is the main component on this pizza. And it's a bit sweet. It's a bit sweet. Toppings are a little bit bland, but the sauce really steals the show. Price-wise, oh boy, it's an Italian thing. Italian favorites, right? It's a favorite and it's Italian. I even wore my Italian suit for for this special review, right? <laughs> of course, because I picked this out special. I didn't just wake up this mo well, this afternoon and uh, just decide, oh, all right, let's put this on today. Not like I did that or anything, you know? Oh, yeah, and one other thing I want to say about the pizza... They said they, they slathered on olive oil. There is olive oil on this. And my jaw literally dropped. I mean, it fell to the floor when I actually saw, after I took it out, out of the oven, there was olive oil actually on the surface. Of course, I required extensive surgery to reattach my jaw from the floor uh, and actually be here to do this review if the pizza's still warm and all. But uh, we managed, but they didn't lie this time. There's actual olive oil on it. So that was nice. Well, it was a little pricey. Uh, we got the pizza for around 11 bucks. Could fluctuate, of course, give or take a dollar or two. But uh, 11 bucks, you know. What are you going to do? It's special Italian, right? So, what are we going to rate this out of 10? If it weren't for the, spe if it weren't for the, the nice surprise of the sauce, this would probably be, you know, in the low 7s. But, this is definitely going to get a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Because the sauce really helped amplify the pizza overall. Uh, and the little hint of sweetness in that marinara sauce really, you know, it made my day. Well, I guess it is day now. It's 5.05 a.m. So, uh, that's that. All right, well, we, we wasted enough time here with that stupid camera. If you're wondering, I switched up the pictures in the back there. Now, now you can see a picture of me from many years ago. I'd say from about 09, right? Yeah, it's from 2009. It's, it's me over there, standing there in a black shirt and tie, or black dress shirt and pants and a striped tie from many years ago. Uh, probably about five, six years ago. Still wore ties back then, though. Figure I'll rotate the pictures every now and then. Right? Give you something to, to gaze at. Right? If you don't care about the review. Anyways, though, well, thank you for watching. This is Running an Empty Food Review of your host, Reportable. Because I'm doing this finger pointing, pointing thing right now. I don't know why. Let's reclaim the camera. We didn't need any napkins today, but I got the big paper towels here just in case. Get off. Get off. Get away from me. All right. Thank you for watching. This is Running an Empty Food Review with the Report of the Week as your host. Thank you for watching. Today we reviewed the Your Nose Italian Favorites Meatball Marinara Pizza. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Take care. And uh, we really zoomed through that, but I'm worried we wasted time and...